Welcome to the Sages Workshop, people. It's your boy King Covington here, and today I'm going to break down the Great Soldier Boy Saga. Jeez, man, this dude is really trying to make a name for himself. Soldier Boy started beef back with Lil Yachty over some pictures. Lil Yachty asked him to take him off Instagram. He was like, nah, yada, 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 I'm gonna do what I want to do, F you. And then he could have behaved like an adult, but DeAndre just couldn't do it and had to tap into his inner soldier. Soldierboytellem.com was just coming out of him when he had to go popping off at the mouth. On top of that, the Shia LaBeouf thing fizzled out pretty quick because Soldier Boy just lost that. He did something he knew he couldn't do. He tried to ban him from Atlanta, knowing that he had no authority over anything of the sort. And then Shia LaBeouf roasted you in a, in a freestyle. So he had to go ahead and pretty much just concede that one, which is why he went back to beefing with his homeboys like Quavo, who he knew wasn't going to retaliate because Quavo's over here like, dog, I, I ain't got time for this. And so Boy was like, yeah, I got your chain, yada, yada. But let's be real, Quavo ain't worried because... If I want my chain, I can have my chain. I'll let you borrow that chain. Let's be real, folks. He let he he borrowed that chain. I'm not convinced. I'm just, I mean, they're taking it so far as to now there is a pay-per-view prize fight set up between these two men. Two people who are famous for singing and dancing. Literally just singing and dancing. All of a sudden, they about to get in the ring. A pay-per-view fight. I mean, come on now. I've seen crossover before. Maybe some, you know, musicians in the movies. Sometimes athletes in the TV shows. But musicians in the prize fighting? Oh. Oh, I've seen it all. You know what? I don't even want to see this fight. I don't want to see Soldier Boy go in the ring and get cleaned up and knocked out by Chris Brown. Come on now. I'm not paying to watch that. That's... It's not going to last. It's going to be like an old Mike Tyson fight when he used to knock him out in the first 30 seconds. You, what'd you pay for? It's not even going to be a fun fight. But hopefully Soulja Boy gets some sense knocked into him after this and maybe he'll stop popping off at the mouth at everybody thinking he just the big dog on campus when didn't he get robbed on Instagram like in the last couple weeks? And within the last the last couple days, apparently somebody broke in his house and stole, and stole robbed for 10000 in cash and twelve thousand in jewelry, and now the landlord is saying that he's six thousand dollars behind in rent. Who rent the house for six thousand dollars? <laughs> because didn't they just say he was recently living in Sean Kingston's house? So maybe he was like, "Oh no, nah. oh no, nah, I gotta go, I gotta go, that will get my own shit." There's even a guy on Instagram that goes and and finds celebrities who wear fake Yeezys. He just caught Soldier Boy wearing fake Yeezys. And right after that, what he did was he went and asked the kid to take down the, 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 the post about him wearing fake Yeezys and then went and bought some real ones. I mean, come on now. Come on now. This dude is either the fakest goon on earth just just or or criminal mastermind, like just, just orchestrating these hot topics to get himself in the media because if not, he is just, this is dumb luck. And I'm inclined to believe that this is just dumb luck. I just, I don't know, man. I don't think the Soldier Boy uh, debacle can go on for much longer. I mean, after this fight, well, what, what are you going to do then? If he get, I mean, if you go to Vlad TV, you can see the interview about the people, or about the guy that he shot a few years ago. Coming out and talking about how Soldier Boy shot him because he slapped him two times. I mean, you done got slapped two times, shot the dude, got him locked up, and then he got out of jail, and he's still out here letting you know that you owe him your career? Oh, yeah. You, you are a fraud. Huh. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, folks. Uh, let me know how you feel about this, this uh, Soldier Boy uh, saga that's been going on. But, hey, thank you for venturing into the Sages Workshop, and I will see you next time. Peace.